Welcome to the Purple Mouse Final Cut Pro video tutorials on YouTube. To begin with, let's take a look at the speed tool function. We need to ensure that we have toggled the button called Toggle Clip Keyframes on the bottom left of your timeline on. This way we can see the speed indicators underneath the clip. You'll notice that underneath the clip you have a nice even spread of speed indicators and that is your clue that at this stage this clip is running at a standard 25 frames per second. Using the standard selection tool shortcut A I'll now move my playhead to the point where I want to create a speed ramp and go down to the speed indicator area and create a keyframe. I'll then move further down to the point where I want the speed ramp to end and create another keyframe. A right click in the segment would allow me to change the speed to let's say 30%. Click on OK and you'll notice that the speed indicators are spread further apart in this segment. Let's play the result. Mm, not bad, but I can always change the speed of the segment by going to the keyframe on the arc point, pulling it closer to the keyframe on the in point of that segment to change the speed, and then play the result. Great, but my producer feels that it might be easier on the eye if we were able to ramp the speed segments in and out. I can do this by right clicking in the segment area, select change the speed segment and then choose a duration for my ramp in. Let's say 10 frames to ramp in and 10 frames to ramp out. Click on OK and of course view the result. In my next tutorial I'll show you how you can use the speed tool to do ripple and roll trims by adjusting the speed on either side of the cut point whilst maintaining sync and in essence it is a method of doing a fit to full edit with clips that are already on your timeline.